finally on page 30 from line one. Okay, line one, read as follows, my Lord. I said, I said the Sibia young man who was coming, I said the Sibia young man who was coming from, the proximity could be from here, perhaps to the door there. And I was asked, he was handcuffed and feet as well. I asked him, young man, what happened that you know inquiring from the Sibia young man? The prosecutor, my lord, asked, yes, in just a minute, could you recognize that person that you saw there at the police station? Could you recognize that person that you say it is Sibia? Um, then Mr. Zwane replies as follows, this is the very person that I had a very close interaction with, that we were facing each other at a very close proximity, and the others were just adjacent to where he was, just like these ones that are um, seated behind me here. But one but one is the very person that we had a face-to-face -face interaction with. I could then tell that this is the Sibia young man. And then Mr. Baloy says yes, and then Mr. Zwane Malot goes better to say, now I do not recall which police officer I spoke, which police officer I spoke to, me, and right there, right there at that police station. There were many police officers, and he said to me, do you know this person? Do you recognize this person? I then replied, I say, yes, I know this person. He is the same person that came to me. This is Sibia. What is your comment regarding this version of Mr. Zwan? My Lord, it's in line with what I recall, although he's not explicit with regards to, say, but he does make reference to, uh, to the handcuffs and coming, you know, seeing him. And it is correct that when they came, when they brought him to me on the 31st, he was in a company of other police officers. Like I said, there was a SWAT team that was assisting. Sergeant Mukula was there. Um, so it was the way police officers, so it's in line with my recollection of our interaction, my lord. What is prominent, my lord, is the fact that he does mention that there was a cleansing, because that was really the essence of, of, of me wanting to speak to him, you know, to establish what is it that was said. As accused one, number one told me that during the cleansing process, they told this traditional healer, so he makes mention of the cleansing. So that part of the convention, my lord, in, in essence, was collaborated. Don't know English. You your don't spirit know. Your is half naked. You're, you hesitate, Span, and I hesitate. If you hesitate, I go back. We all, we all once hesitate. And uh, so that part of the convention, my lord, in, in essence, was collaborated. So according to the Oxford Dictionary of the LLB Brigadier Genenda, collaborated means the definition of collaborated means when you take time to give lengthy explanations and you go back and forth between stories just so you sound knowledgeable and are trying to prove a point that whatever you say is actually factual when as a matter of fact you're failing to remember the correct pronunciation of collaborated but you know what you know what a sequel up <laughs> listen how many times did this man say collaborated and how many times did we the members of the jury say say what now mr llb mr nisi must come with me if he must mr i am now highly educated look at this mistake is it a mistake or is he con you see when you're so convinced on something being true you even start to use words like collaborated and nobody can tell you otherwise well you know what this is brigadier Ginenda and zwane continuation where he breaks down his interaction with uzwane and is satisfied listen a man is being arrested because what a sangoma a inyanga a traditional healer uses the word cleansing therefore Therefore, he said cleansing. Therefore, Moses said cleansing. Therefore, it is a one plus one is two guilty of the murder of Usenzo Meiwa. This is the South Africa we live in. There, there, there's no um, DNA evidence. There is no um, fingerprints. But uh, Zwane said cleansing. Moses Sibia said cleansing. Therefore, it is a match. I just want to know, are these the only two people that have done a ritual cleansing in the whole of Umsansi? But you know what? Let's keep going because, you know, Brigadier Kininda breaks it down for us. 
And this police station that Mr. Zwane refers to, what does it refer to? I, I, look, my lord, it was brought, I, I think as a layman, one will understand. It, it was the provincial office. Uh, it's a, the building that belongs to the police. Uh, I think it was referring to where we met at the provincial office in Ayrton, my lord. Yes, you may continue. You, you mentioned that you administered another warning to a case number one. He then said he must be removed. Yes, And he continued with the interview of Mr. Zwani. What happened further? Yes, upon establishing, my lord, that he was um, collaborating um, most of the facts, there was just some small similarity, I mean, differences. And, and that, if I recall correctly, my lord, it was in relation of whether he knew before they went, you know, because they came twice in my recollection or not. The, 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 the inconsistencies were simply there. My lord, I then decided that um, a statement from the Rada should be obtained, um, and, and I requested then Kenel Mutame, who was the commander of the anti-corruption unit of the Hawks, the DPCI in Germiston, to assist in taking this uh, uh, statement under Section 204 uh, of Act 51 of the Criminal Procedure Act of CPA of 1977. And if we can just get back to the proceedings of the 4th of September 2023, at page 23, Line 18. Line 18, yes, my lord. Just put that on record. Okay. Um, I usually charge them 100 per consultation. Okay, let me start at the beginning. Yes, you, you okay, proceed. proceed. Yes, proceed. Okay. I usually charge them 100 per consultation, but on that day, they gave me 500 for the work that I had, that I have finished to them. And that is under Mr. Swanee's testimony, my lord. Thank you. You may proceed. You, you arranged that. A statement be obtained from Mr. Zwani in terms of Section 204 of the Criminal Procedure Act? Indeed, my lord. So, so Mr. Zwani was taken to Colonel Mutlame, and I do know that the statement was then uh, obtained from him, my lord. And uh, I further know that he was then taken home, my lord, and accused number one, I think was taken back to detention, if I recall correctly. And then, my lord, on the 1st of June, because this was the 31st of May, on the 1st of June, 2020, and that's when now he made his first appearance in Tembisa in relation to Tembisa case 217 of 3, uh, 2019. That is the warrant that was executed uh, on him on, that, on the 30th when he was arrested. So he made his first appearance on the 1st of June, 2020, my lord. No, no bail was granted on that, bail, on that day, my lord, and he was, remind, he was remanded back into custody. Now, my lord, on the 4th, and that is following up on our last discussion when I spoke to him uh, the first time, uh, I then went to see him on the 4th of June, uh, 2020. I warned him according to his constitutional rights again, my lord. Uh, so where did you go to see him? He was in Valeria, my lord. Valeria SAPS. Right. Yes, my lord. So I dealt, I warned him according to his constitutional rights. I've covered that as well in my trial within trial evidence. But but the essence of it was to establish if he is still willing uh, to point out the crime scene. And the answer was yes, my lord. Yeah. And and this willingness, my lord, as I as I mentioned it in the, during the trial within trial, was made freely and voluntarily. <laughs> So just to make sure I understand exactly what Gininda is saying, he is saying that Moses Sevilla, accused number one, collaborated, okay? He collaborated freely and willingly, okay? Under no threat, just like Gininda expressed during a trial within a trial. And on the, he was arrested on the 30th of May. And then on the 1st of June, 2020 was his first appearance in Tembisa, okay? For CAS 2173 of 2019 okay okay bail of course was denied okay but you know after bail was denied he then went to see him on the 4th of june and when he went to see him at the valeria police station he said to him hey i'm back to have that little chat that we had the other day since you don't have a, a bail hearing let me just first of all give you your constitutional rights let me read you your constitutional rights i'm just here to check if you are still willing to show me the crime scene and music goes oh yes 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 I, I, yes, I, you know what? I'm incarcerated right now. I'm not very, uh, I'm not very busy. I feel like, yeah, I could certainly go show you the crime scene for the Sons of Mewa trial. Does this make sense to you? Because it, it surely does not make sense to me that let's go with it. A convicted criminal is out here trying to catch more charges <laughs> freely and voluntarily at that. Wow. I mean, then we've got to blame Ozwane because, hello, Ozwane, his, his rituals are not ritualing, okay? Um, sevenzi did not sevenza. But you know what? Let me know your thoughts on that in the comment section down below. My Lord, then that led me to phoning around until I got assistance from Lieutenant Kenel Khatebe. 
with an understanding that the accused must be taken to Albertine Police Station on the 5th of June 2020, that is the following day, where he will then take it from there, my lord, for the pointing out. Sergeant Mohane, my lord, was given the task, in other words, of moving accused number one from Valeria to that station, which is Albertine, and coordinating uh, uh, that arrangement with Kenel Khateve. So I gave the numbers to each other so that they communicate. Now, my lord, I do know that indeed the, the, the pointing outs uh, were done on the 5th of June 2020. And, and, and when I receive, um, not the same day, so maybe let me deal with it in sequence, my lord. So when it was done, I would then receive the confession um, form, the pointing out form first, and then subsequent to that, in a couple of days, then I received the photo album of the pointing out. Now, what I noted, my lord, in particular on the photos, um, is that in some of the photos, photos accused one is seen pointing um, at a scene, and that's place that is pointing at, because I've been there, I, you know, I went to visit the scene, it's actually the crime scene, it's number 13511, Putuano Street, uh, uh, Fosoras. That is a crime scene, or that are the place where the deceased in this matter was shot, and he took the pointing out officer to that address. I also recall, my lord, that I saw a, 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 a photo um, um, of, of a pointing out next to Bastutino Hostel, or right around there on the street, and, and that is in line with what the investigation was saying, that they would have met in that hostel before the incident was executed and then met after, and thereafter it was dropped uh, after the incident, my lord. So that location, because um, I know that place as well, my lord, it is situated around the Basutino hostel. My lord, what I also forget, if I can just take the quote back, I, I forgot to mention it um, when I was talking to him on the 30th. This is now when he was um, making a session, admitting Oh, to, to, to his involvement in the killing of the deceased. One of the things that he mentioned was that this murder, it was a contractual killing that was given to them by then the girlfriend of the deceased, Miss Kelly Kumalo. How dare Kelly Kumalo order a hit, a hit on Osenzo Robert Mayua, father to her daughter, but, but, let's just pause on that a little bit my lord i forgot to mention as well what is this man talking about is he not the same brigadier Geninda who said um they tested chico Tola's gun based off of rumors okay and it was found negative so i want to know since he received information from umu Sevilla, accused number one that they were hired by ukele kumalo why is kelly kumalo not arrested why has it been 10 years and you're sitting there reciting this again with all the confidence and condescending manner but kelly kumalo is singing on stages every weekend kelly kumalo is singing on stages but here you are telling us that she ordered the hit so i just need to understand how the law works so if you order the hit you don't get arrested. It's the people that actually carried out the deed that sit in jail and sit in the dock. Because if you're saying, oh, Kelly Kumalo is the Ngondo Ngondo, where is she? Brigadier Gininda, where is she? What does your LLB studies say about this situation? Because us members of the jury we're a little bit confused because on the one hand you're saying rumors there are no eyewitnesses to corroborate that usenzo or ulongwe shot the goalkeeper but in the same sentence on the same day you are saying kelly kumalo ordered the hit but you're not telling us about an eyewitness you're not telling us about an arrest warrant Therefore, it's another Nganewane. What is going on in the South African police services? This is such a mgulugutu behavior because what is this? What is this? What are we supposed to do with this information? But let's listen on because the judge is silent. At which point did you mention it? It was during our inter in, 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 um, interaction at, outside the pol at the parking lot of the police station, my lord, in Fosoras. That is prior to him being handed over to Kenel Mboto, before, before we move to Ereton. You try to start me. Now, my lord, I'm saying the part of the, of the girlfriend, because when I looked at the statement that was taken by Kenel Mboto, and also the one the pointing out, because Lieutenant Kenel had also made some notes, 
that part is to who send them to kill the deceased is mentioned. That was the name of Kilikumalo. It's there. So that expect was then collaborated as well. That part is to who send them to kill the deceased is mentioned. That was the name of Kilikumalo. It's there. So that expect was then collaborated as well. Furthermore, my lord, the issue of the crime scene that he told me about was collaborated in this pointing out because, as I said, I know the crime scene, the photos were taken of him standing outside the house. Um, and that part then was also collaborated that when he said, I do not know the address, but I can point out the scene. He pointed out the correct crime scene where the deceased in this matter was killed. The other collaboration, my lord, it was in relation to the traditional doctor because what transpired on the 31st, he took them. He pointed out where the traditional doctor was residing. The traditional doctor was brought to me, and his assertion and the communication and subsequent statement that he made was a collaboration of the statement, the confession that he made, my lord. You mentioned that you received the printings out form that was handed up as exhibit GG during the trial within a trial. Yes, my lord. And you also mentioned photos that were taken during the printings out, which were handed up as exhibit GG in brackets one. Correct, During the Lord. trial within a trial. I did mention them, correct, my Lord. Yeah. I just want to show you photos of uh, exhibit GG in brackets one. This is a photo album compiled by Surgeon Mapakela taken during the pointings out. In particular, I wish you draw, to draw your attention to photo number 14. Indeed, my Lord. So photo number 14, but as well as photo number 15, depicts the outside house, the crime scene, basically. This is the house where the deceased was shot and killed. Photo 16? But, yeah, sorry, my Lord. Maybe just to put that into the right context, or I'm not misquoted. So this is where you were shot and then he was certified dead at the hospital. So he, so he wasn't certified dead at the scene, but this is where the incident took place. And then at 21.15, when he arrived at Uchilong Hospital, he was then certified dead, my lord. And that is the 21.15 of the 26th of October, 2014, my lord. I just want to refer you to the photo album of Lieutenant Colonel Mshasho, which serves as Exhibit D before this court. Yes, ma'am. Photo number two. Photo number one and two. Yes, my lord. Yes, what is your comment? So photo one and two, my lord, it depicts the same house, the crime scene. In other words, it depicts the same house um, that is contained in the photo album of the pointing out in photo 14 and 15. The only difference, my lord, is that the photos that were, that were taken by Lieutenant Colonel Murflatho back in 2014, there was no black gate, um, um, steel gate. So in the photos, that um that were taken on the 5th of june 2020 by uh, the photographer who was in the company of kennel hadebe there is a gate so the difference is the gate and the paving but but the house is the same the brick structure and the wall the photo photo number two of kennel mutato's album my lord exhibits rather also depicts the um grayish brownish brim bmw x6 and this vehicle because you can see the registration number is the vehicle that belonged uh, to the deceased mr senzo mayor yes please. photo 16 of uh, exhibit gg in brackets one yes photo 16 my lord also points the accused number one uh, he's still at the scene. He's pointing at the crime scene. This is the crime scene. So, and photo number 19. 
of exhibit GG1. Photo number 19, my lord, is pointing, this is the evidence I refer to, is pointing, there's a main road and is pointing, um, is pointing down, but if one looks at, and if you read this in conjunction with the pointing out comments, it's, that's the situation, that is a spot which is situated on next to Basutuni Hostel. I'm going to object. I'm going to object. Um, yes. And uh, is trying to come with his own analysis. The pointing out is a very specific thing. It's either you pointed a specific thing without. So the Spaza house was sold in 2015 for about. Okay, no, this is not the right channel where we talk about that. But, <laughs> so the Spaza house was sold in 2015 and they put a black gate, okay? Because, you know, prying eyes kept looking in. It's now a black solid uh, gate. And then they also put paving, okay? The house got an upgrade. And I imagine they painted out the words Spaza house. But my concern is the house was the crime scene that is not being disputed. Senzo died and um Senzo died Senzo was shot at the Spaza house allegedly okay allegedly or that is the story they're selling us but he was pronounced dead at the hospital okay okay nobody has disputed that and the amount of detail that Brigadier Gininda goes in to talk about the Spaza house the specifications of the house for me is just outstanding it's such an outstanding performance that he even describes the BMW X6 that Kelly Kumalo refused with the keys. We're, we're well versed with the vehicle, Brigadier Kininda. Our main concern is who pulled the trigger, who went pow pow, and ended the life of Usenzo Robert Meiwa almost 10 years ago. This is Justin Ganegwane. He's going on and on. I'm not even going to go into the merits of the confession of Umuzi Sibia. And he's highlighting to my lord that Umuzi Sibia is in the picture and he is appointing at the Spaza house. But let me tell you something. If you were outside the Spaza house, would you not point at it too? I mean, that house is renowned. Okay? I can't imagine that somebody actually bought it after what happened in that house but you know what probably they did a ritual and they did a cleansing but but a i mean this is astonishing speaking of rituals and cleansings this might be way off topic but since the kumalos never spoke to the meiwas after the pow pow did the meiwas were the meiwas given a chance to go to the Spaza house to collect and perform the rituals for Senzo's spirit. You know what? I, I could be wrong. I don't think I remember anything like that happening. Let me know in the comment section down below. But yeah, Mr. Collaborate, okay? <laughs> he just got himself a new name, Mr. Collaborate, Mr. Brigadier. I mean, it is the confidence for me. It is the, the arrogance for me. It is the condescending nature for me. It is the over explaining of unnecessary information that nobody asked for. All Baloi said was what you see in the picture, but the man is going to tell a story. Well, they do say a picture says a thousand words, but let me end it here. Let me end it here. If you didn't catch the objection by Umnesi, Umshololo, and Unkomizulu that lives in a separate video entirely, I will link it up here for you in case you missed it. But yeah, let me end this here. I'll be back with more highlights from... Whew, Brigadier, collaborate. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. If you've made it this far in the video, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And absolutely share this video with the last three people you chatted with on WhatsApp. If you've watched all the ads, you absolutely have my heart. You're my VIP gang gang. And to become a channel member, okay, to have exclusive access to our defense team emojis plus 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 is definitely by hitting that join button, okay? And I promise not to rob you. It is absolutely affordable. And there's going to be um, some extra content that I'm going to be doing today. So please make sure your notification bell is turned on. If you're watching us from outside the club, 
please consider subscribing so that you also get the notifications on my next upload to all the sweet, beautiful messages I get. Comments. Okay. I see your comments. I love them. Thank you for encouraging me. Some people say they cannot sleep without an upload. Some people say they're addicted to my voice. Oh my God. Should I start singing happy birthday on your birthdays? Should I make that a member's benefit? Let me know in the comment section down below. To my shy gang, you two count on this channel. Make sure you drop a soccer emoji in the comment section down below as we're here together, gathered for justice for Osenzo Meiwa. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you on my next upload. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you on my next upload.